Dry spell indeed. Hey, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. Welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. And surprisingly today, we're going to be talking about some of my pre-orders. Uh, some people have asked, hey, Chris, lately, you know, what's on your pre-order list? What things do you have coming in next? And, you know, there's not a ton. Um, I have six. Yeah, six pieces on pre-order right now. Now, with that said, however, there are a whole bunch of maybes that are going to be coming and definitely definites as well, but they just haven't gone up for pre-order yet. So I'm going to talk about my pre-orders and also the ones that I am definitely either considering or it will be must buys when they start to come out, okay? Um, but it is interesting that there has been this big kind of dry spell for the Batman statue collector. And that is again why I've, you know, started doing all this original art to kind of fill in the gaps. However, I have since then absolutely fallen in love with collecting the original art. But today we're gonna be talking about statues. We're gonna focus on that because once these statues actually start coming out and start, you know, really hitting the market again, there's definitely going to be way more statues than there is art for sure, because I'm kind of wrapping up the art. Um, I've basically gotten everything I wanted from almost every artist that I wanted to get it from. And so now I'm going to be focusing more on the statue stuff as well. So uh, let's talk about the pre-orders right now. So guys, I'm kind of looking at my spreadsheet right now and uh, it's kind of an itemized list. As you know, that's what I like to do. It keeps track of the, uh, the amount I pay, the down, the down payment and that sort of thing, how much shipping will be. Um, but the first one on my list is the Alfred 1 4th. And this of course is from Prime 1 Studio. This is a piece that I'm very excited to get, although I don't usually collect the heroes. Uh, you know, I usually just focus on the villains. However, how could I not have an Alfred in my collection? I was actually hoping it would be one third scale uh, and maybe eventually somebody will do an Alfred, but right now it is the quarter scale from Prime 1. It's part of the, uh, the throne piece, the tactical throne, um, you know, kind of a proximity type piece, but I'm very excited to add Alfred, even if it's a standalone, even if it's not really with any other statue, I am very excited to add him to the collection, okay? Um, also from Prime 1 Studio, we have the Batman 89. Now this one seems like it is well overdue. I don't know why it hasn't shipped yet, but it's definitely one that I'm excited to add probably to the middle of my room. Um, I've got the Catwoman, of course, from Blitzway, and now to add the Michael Keaton Batman. Will they ever do a Penguin? I would love to see it. I don't have a lot of confidence that they're gonna do that. I also don't have a lot of confidence that they're ever gonna do a Jack Nicholson. I don't think that'll ever happen, at least uh, as long as he is uh, with us. Maybe that'll change with his estate, but time will tell. But the 89 Batman I'm very excited about. I had held out hope that we would get a returns Batman because that's the one I really want but I think we're gonna have to settle for the 89 I don't think they're ever gonna do a returns unless uh, the, the DC movies start doing well again but you know time will tell but I'm really excited about that piece um, probably the most anticipated piece that I have coming is also from Prime One Studio this is the Batman versus Killer Croc this is one that I am so incredibly excited about again I do wish this one was third scale but I get why they did it quarter scale. Uh, it's just gonna be a massive piece. I hope it fits on my back shelf. I don't know if it will, but by far my most anticipated. I think the Prime One did a really great job. I actually uh, bought the regular version, ended up canceling that one to get the, the deluxe, deluxe bonus where Batman's got the respirator and it's got like the crocodile face. So I'm very excited about that piece, but man, cannot wait to add that to the collection. Super looking forward to that one for sure, okay? Um, now we're going to move over, let's move over to Sideshow for a minute. Uh, I've got a piece that I'm excited about, <clears throat> but I don't know if it's, I'm as excited about it as others. I can't wait to see it in person though. And that is the Sideshow Batman versus Joker diorama. Again, sculpted by Daniel Bell, Martin Canale, uh, and the Sideshow development team. Um, they have a lot of really talented people working on this particular piece. I think I'm not as excited to get it because I don't know where it's going to go. I have no idea. Um, it might be a bottom shelfer, we'll see, or it might fit on the back shelf. I don't know if it will, but I am excited to add it. I love anything with Batman and Joker, so I had to get it. Um, there are parts of it that I don't love, like I wish Joker had better weapons, um, but I, I, I am excited. I know some people think that the, the Batman positioning is a little weird, the body looks a little wonky, but <clears throat> I'm anxious to give it a chance. I'm anxious to see where it will work in this uh, collection room, but 
I am excited to get it. I know it's going to be a little bit of a wait still to get that one, but uh, I, I, I am excited about the possibility of it. But will it be better than this one right here over my shoulder? I don't know. Time's going to tell, right? Love this piece by Prime One. Uh, speaking of Prime One, we're going to go back to them. And this is one that I didn't originally plan on getting. It is one that I um, got on the wait list, basically. I kind of fell in love with it after the fact. Uh, and it's Dark Knight Returns. It's from Master Race. This is the Jim Lee piece. Um, this is the cover that Jim did. Batman, Robin, and Joker dead in the in the gunk, the muck. Um, and so I am very excited about this piece. Again, it's a quarter scale piece, which again, I'm not thrilled about. I, I'm a third scale collector. That's just what I love. And so <clears throat> I don't know exactly where this one's going to go. It, it has some depth to it. So there, there might be some pieces in the collection that I have to kind of like tweak where I put stuff. Um, so it's, it's going to be, yeah, collector problems, right? Yeah, collector problems. But that's definitely one on my list uh, that's coming hopefully soon. I, I, I got charged for it a long time ago, so I don't know why it hasn't shipped yet. Um, so fingers crossed that'll happen soon. Um, another one <clears throat> on the list is the Batgirl Premium Format. Very excited about this piece. Uh, I, I think she looks great. I'm really more excited about the Clayface base. I love that they did that. I thought that was really smart. I've been saying that for years to incorporate some of the larger villains that they don't think will sell. Uh, incorporate it into a hero or a other villain's base. I think it was very smart on, on Sideshow's part. Uh, again, I don't collect the, the heroes, so it'll be interesting. Hopefully she will stick around in my collection for quite a long time uh, just because she does have that base. But I think she will also looks absolutely fantastic. Um, they've done some really great Batgirls over the years, but I think this is one of the best. Um, it just, she just looks badass. And uh, again, I'm really excited to get her in. Um, yeah, I just think it's awesome, okay? So anyway, those are uh, my pre-orders. Those are my six pre-orders, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I've got six pre-orders right now. Um, not a lot. It's probably the least amount of pre-orders I've ever had since doing this channel, which is quite crazy. Um, but you know, there's just not a lot out on the market right now. Although again, that's going to switch. Um, the possible pre-orders that have already been announced are the Batman Tactical Throne. Um, again, I really love that piece. I would maybe opt more for the smaller one with just the, I like the rock work on it. I don't know if I would need the screens. Also, even with just that version, the depth is really large. I don't think it would fit on my back cabinet. So I don't really know for sure. That's why I haven't ordered it because I just don't know where I'd put it if it doesn't fit back there. Um, Batman, Bust, Queen Studios. I've kind of kicked around the idea, the bail piece. I don't really know. I've got the Joker, but I don't really know if I would want no arms. Um, the Batman versus Batman Who Laughs, that's another piece that's on my maybe list. Of course, that is a David Finch cover, so instantly I'm interested. But I have a really great Batman Who Laughs um, from Sideshow. So do I need both? I don't know. Um, also, the City of Bane, uh, quarter scale from Prime 1. That's the one with Bane is sitting on the throne. And so, obviously, that is one that, uh, you know, should probably belong in this room. But I just don't know if I have the, the room for the depth of it. Um, again, those are those are my four maybes right now. Um, also, you know, I'm planning on doing all of the um, the, the tweeter head busts, um, all the villains that they're going to do. I, I, I want them all in the bat, in the Batcave, and so those will all be on my pre-order list as soon as they go up for pre-order. So like the Riddler and um, Solomon Grundy and Clayface. All of those ones that they've announced so far, I'm 100% in. Can't wait to get all of those. Again, the $300 price point, or $350 or $400, depending on what size it is. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. So those are for sures. Also for sures are going to be the Legendary Beast. Once those start rolling out, obviously Batman is up for pre-order right now. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. Um, who's going to be next? I think Joker is going to be maybe be next. So when those characters really start pumping out, Ra's al Ghul, Clayface, I am in on all of those. Um, I, I'm really thinking of, of just you know dedicating most of this side of the room to those. Um, again, I cannot wait to add that lineup and maybe mix and match between my Prime One and uh, the Legendary Beast pieces. So those are that's kind of where I'm at right now. It gives you just kind of a glimpse on where I am right now in the hobby. Um, so. Again, I'm really excited to see those new pieces coming in. I'm really excited to have, um, oh, you know what? I just remembered another one I forgot. I don't have it on the spreadsheet. I don't know how I don't forgot it. Duh. 
uh, the tweeter head Two Face One Four Scale. Uh, I don't remember how. I don't know why that's not on there. It just popped into my brain. So yeah, the, the tweeter head Two Face is also on my pre-order list. So yeah, that's another one to look forward to. So I guess I got seven, right? Um, so anyway, uh, that's my pre-order list. It's very small, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you um, what you're most excited to see me get in. And what are you excited to get in? Hopefully in the next you know, three or four months, we'll see. But that's my current pre-order list. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, guys. Otherwise, I'll keep updating you as I get stuff in or as I keep ordering stuff because I know some of you are interested. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the back cave. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.